What's up guys? Today we're going to be doing a rut tester video in MX vs. ATV Legends on Anaheim. I think this is Anaheim. Los Angeles, Anaheim, something like that. And um, yeah, we're going to do 30 laps and it's going to be a full field of riders. So we're really going to get to see the, the limits that this game has um, when it comes to, yeah, LA. When it comes to track deformation, ruts, ground deformation, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, let's get right into this, man. I'm actually really excited here. I feel like 30 laps is going to be unrideable by like, I mean, frick, lap like 15. It's probably going to be unrideable. Um, I mean, I've done a 10 lap supercross race and it's almost unrideable at 10 laps. Um, I think just the way the ground physics are, it's it's super hard to, to get in a rut and to even use them. It's kind of like your bike just kind of slides over them. But uh, all right, we're getting right into this here. So I'm getting the lead here. I'm going to... Try to get the lead. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is what the track looks like. I'm just going to show you guys the first three laps here. Just so you can see the initial deformation. Then we're going to skip to lap 10. And then I'll show you lap 10. Then I'll show you lap 20. And then I'll show you lap 30. But yeah, the uh, cross tracks are super smooth in this game. Initially, obviously. Um, I actually like the tracks a lot. Um, I think they did a, a great job on them. Wow. Yeah, I see it's just super hard to stay in ruts and to use like berms with the way the sliding uh, mechanic is. But if you go slow, I mean, you can do just about anything. So here we go, coming along around from the first lap here. And you can see just initially how it is. You can see a little stuff in the dirt. There's a rut right there. Kind of a weird place to form, but... Yeah, you can see little berms, little ruts on the faces. It's nothing too crazy. Um, it doesn't affect you too much, but... Oh, there's a huge rut in that face. These whoops are going to be completely rutted out by the end. I guarantee it. Little rut there. Right on the face. I feel like this inside berm is going to be completely just destroyed. Alright. Coming up on our end of our second lap. It's going to be our third lap here. And I'm going to come back at lap 10. So stick around. Alrighty guys. So we're just about to go around on our 10th lap here and wow things have changed a lot I mean as you can see the face of that jump looks like a freaking sleigh just went over it um, yeah I don't know what to say here I mean I'm gonna kinda go slow just to show you look at these ruts look at the ruts in this corner it's pretty crazy we're only 10 laps in we're only a third of the way through face of this triple is look at that dude that's insane the whoops actually aren't that bad they've actually held up basically basically completely held up here but uh this front of this triple oh my gosh from that triple oh my already getting glitchy but from that triple is gone dude literally just scraped off Cool corner right here. Look at this. Alrighty, guys. We are on our 19th lap. Coming around to the 20th. And my god, has this track gotten beat up. Look at this rut in this corner here. Look at the face of this finish line, Joe. Look at this rut. Are you kidding me? Even the straightaway is rutted. I want a first person view, it's a lot easier to see, I think. See even that right there. It's not... The problem with these ground fizzes is so hard to... You can't really catch a rut. Like you can see that one right there, too. The whoops kind of held up. Definitely deforming still. 
The front of this triple is gone, dude. It's absolutely gone. Look at the inside. <laughs> oh my. The face of all these jumps just have ruts through them. Look at this mayhem. Over. Ah. All right, everybody, we're coming around on our 29th lap here. Two more laps to go. Wow. Look at this corner. He just, oh, he just railed that broom. Here, I'm going to go in a first person. I should see it a little bit better. Oh, my goodness. Some of the jumps are just smoothed out. Look at this rope. Oh, man. Yeah, some of these jumps are smoothed out. Some of them still kind of have ruts through them. I think there's just a certain point where the ground just doesn't deform anymore. Oh, there's huge ruts there. See, the front of the whoops are done. Huge rut action is left side of the whoops. The front of this face is gone. Look at these ruts. It's actually, it's actually pretty crazy. He's right there. To the face, this jump is completely gone. Excuse me, straight away, he rutted. Get to that point where it's like so hard to ride. Like this triple, I can't play this thing. There's no way. Oh my. Look at the frames don't drop in the recording. Look at this face, it's gone. Look at this rut. Look at these ruts. Oh! Look at this. I'm going to play something to the HUD off. Oh! Alright guys, that will do it for this rut tester video. I'm actually super surprised that how much the track actually deforms in this game uh, there's definitely ground deformation you cannot deny that um, I don't know it's kind of a combination between I guess reflex ground deformation and alive maybe I don't know I didn't play all out it's it's not the same as those two because I feel like the ground is much harder in, in these games in those games I feel like you could cut through the ground like it was almost like just this light fine soil but in this game like these ruts like it's hard packed dirt like there's no give to these things so um yeah i think that also makes it a little bit more slipperier um which makes it super hard to be in a rut because you just kind of slide out of it which um it's interesting but um yeah guys had a lot of fun and i uh, hope you guys enjoy the video peace